Hey everybody, Riff Raff here, back with uh, my first Fallout 76 build. So today we are um, a little bit west of Watoga there, you see it down there, and then we've got this gigantic structure here, which is really impressive. This is the uh, monorail um, elevator. I guess they use it to get the monorail from the higher elevation back here up to the lower elevation down there. Um, but yeah, it's got these really impressive monoliths, a couple of uh, really tall ones and then like a half-size one. And then back over here is another half-size one. So this is actually what we're up here today for because I have actually built my, um, my camp right into the structure of this thing. So let's check it out. So here's the front of the camp. And you can see some of it up there. It goes up about four stories into this this building here, into this structure, whatever you want to call it. Let's check out the back. You can see in the back, I've got it all walled off. I do have a junk extractor back here. Um, like I said, I just don't have the budget to enclose it in the wall, or I would. And I do have it locked, but but it's sitting out here in the open. It gets attacked a lot broken but I just fix it. Alright, so that's the outside. So yeah, let's have a look inside and see what we got going on in here. Alright, so first of all, I'm trying to make it as look as welcoming as I could for people that are out wandering and find my base. Um, the first thing I got set up down here is just like a little area for uh, people that find the base that need to use it to, you know, want to get their buffs back, uh, renew their buffs, and uh, scrap their stuff, put it in their stash box, cook some food if they need to. Um, but yeah, so well, this little area is kind of like a little public area. And I've got some crops over here, some water coolers, you know, water purifiers. Um, I, I don't have any of this stuff locked. I'm not, I don't really care if people come and take some water. Um, same with the food. If they want to pick the food and make something to eat, that's fine. And then we've got this little uh, building here, which kind of uh, is the strong point guarding the stairs going up to the main part of the base. So let's just go up here. So basically it's just all empty. Like I said, this is just here mostly for security. And again, a nice little platform up here. This is where I usually uh, um, snipe it things that are out here, because like I said, every time I come in, there's some kind of animal or something out here. Um, now, this base is so big, as far as the budget goes, that I have no turrets here, so it's entirely up to me to defend it, so I constantly have to listen. Uh, hopefully Bethesda will give us some more build budget. Alright, so up here we've got a little uh, porch where you can sit, kind of look up the valley. Pretty nice view. Not quite as nice as from the other side, but still a pretty nice view. And then inside here is the uh, main part of the base. So coming in here, we've got a little living room. So you can see it's not very wide, but it's uh, a very long space. So um, you can get a lot of stuff in here. So anyways, this is my living room here. And I was able to run the floors all the way through here and then put a half floor on each side. There's a, 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 a single floor running down the center and then half floors on each side and they actually stick out enough that I was able to stick these walls on the outside of them. So you can see some more walls over there and kind of kind of block this off and make it a little bit more enclosed. Um, this area here is kind of exposed to the weather. You can see there's panels off of the structure up there um, but all the rest of this is actually under either this thing or under the roof in this little cabin that I put up here so yeah like I said this is the living area kind of nice little area to play some music uh, this is kind of like a little kitchen dining room area and then back over here is the uh, workshop got all my workbenches back here and there's uh, several stash boxes through here uh, disguised as different things. We got a nice little view out here looking over to Watoga. We got our fusion generator back here with the cutoff switch. 
so cut power to everything in the uh, in the um, settlement here. All right, and then upstairs we've got the bedroom. This is my little personal bedroom, and I put a roof over it. Got a fire in here, so it's nice and cozy, warm at night. And she's got a little balcony. She can go out and enjoy the view, sit in her rocking chair. Uh, th this direction would actually be where the sun comes up, and the other direction is where the sun goes down. But yeah, so basically that's pretty much it. My base, like I said, it is uh, pegged out as far as the build budget goes. There's there's really nothing else I can build in here. Um, and I have zero turrets because the turrets just take up so much of the build budget. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was pretty happy with the way it came out. There's a few things that if I had more budget I would add, like definitely turrets. Um, and make this area a little bit more extensive down here. But, yeah, we do what we can. Hopefully uh, we'll be getting some uh, an increase in the build budget coming up. Oh, and another thing, too, I was kind of waiting. I was not able to do any of the stuff on the ground that I wanted to do until the bulldoze feature came out because this whole area, all this had rocks in it. There are rocks under where that building is, over there where the where the water purifiers are, rocks over here where the, the crops were, the, the fence wouldn't go straight. So, yeah, like I said, I, was, I had the top part built beforehand, and it actually got replaced once. Um, then I had to rebuild it, and then, like I said, on on Tuesday when the the new patch came out, I was able to finish up all the bottom stuff on the bottom down here. Um, and it's kind of cool. I like the patch because now it used to be, you know, when you logged in and it told you your base was replaced, you'd get all pissed and be like, "Oh man, I can't, I'm gonna have to rebuild that." And uh, now though, whenever I come in and my base is not place because somebody else has a base here. I, I kind of like it because I get to have a look at what they're doing. Uh, and then I can go log on another server and have my base back. But anyway, so uh, yeah, that's my base so far. Um, I'm going to be looking for some new locations. It's going to be hard to find one as cool as this, but yeah, I do want to move this base around some. Um, and find some pretty interesting other sites to build in. Now, like I said, you're pretty restricted as far as what you can build. So, I mean, if you're just building in a normal site, um, you're going to come up with a pretty boxy thing. Or I see a lot of people building these. Oh, fireberries. I see a lot of people building these uh, towering structures that are all on one um, one foundation. And I might experiment around with a little bit of that just to see what I can do. I, I usually don't like things that look like they're kind of hanging out in the air, uh, but you know, there's probably a way you could do that where it would look good. But anyway, so uh, this is my base. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. I've got some, this is my first Fallout 76 build. I'll probably be doing some more, but um, I do have quite a few Fallout 4 builds. Uh, settlements on my my channel. Um, I have a few extra that I need to do that I never did get around to uh, recording, which were actually some really cool settlements. So hopefully I'll get those up. But for right now, I'm working on Fallout 76. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.